And another event that's been on ice because of the pandemic is back. 12 News reporter Stephen Matragrano tells us about the return of the Rhode Island Home Show. For the first time since 2019, the Rhode Island Home Show officially opened its doors with a ribbon cutting ceremony attended by several state leaders. One of the largest events held in the state kicked off on Thursday with many gathered around the ceremonial ribbon cutting, including Governor McKee and Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza. It's great to be back here after um, a couple years not being here and, uh, you know, uh, Rhode Island right now is, is geared up to uh, really uh, do some fantastic things uh, to have the show here this year. The 72nd annual Rhode Island Home Show returns to the convention center featuring an exciting experience for all who attend. I really liked the art gallery because of the fishies. It's still a very nice show to go to. It's a very nice display. Um, we always think of it as an early taste of spring. You know, coming in, touching the actual grass and smelling the flowers and, you know, seeing what's available. I took everything I had not to just lay down in the flowers. <laughs> this year's show is divided into four categories, tour, explore, learn and find. You can tour the garden experience and Art of the Ocean State exhibit with plenty of plants and flowers on display and explore the Specialty Rhode Island Flower Show with floral creations from designers all across New England. Or you can learn about the all-electric home at the 9th Annual Energy Expo. And on top of it all, the find section allows you to discover the hundreds of exhibitors, contractors, and workshops attending the show. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for seniors, and free for those 15 and under. Now the show runs through Sunday, April 10th, and your tickets are still valid for all four days. You just need a wristband that's available at the gate or online. You can find all of that information on our website at WPRI.com. At the Convention Center, Stephen Matragrano, 12 News. All this rain that we're getting will be good for